Hickory. Hickory Dickory Dot, welcome to Good Mythical Mar! Gift of Cality, that means we're donating $1,000 to Team Trees. This is the collaborative effort between YouTubers Mr. Beast and Mark Rober to plant 20 million trees by January 1st, 2020 in partnership with the Arbor Day Foundation. $1 equals one tree. Please join us in giving at teamtrees.org, teamtrees.org. I, I went home. Josh, come on in here. You went home? I, come, I, I, I came I home notice. from uh, one of our assorted tours. And dad gum, if my neighbor didn't chop down the big old tree. I'm like, what the crap? You been in my backyard and seen that my neighbor chopped down the big tree? This has been months now, but but it's I'm still sore not about your it. tree. Yeah, but it was like it was a big part of my view. It's like a nice tree. It was a pine tree, and I think I think it's crotchety old people who didn't like pine needles in their yard. Why don't you plant a they tree They murdered there. a tree! You plant a tree there and we'll just give $999 to Teen Trees. Take a dollar off of it. Hey Josh. When you said pine tree, you said pine like some spitful out of your mouth and hit my cheesecake. Oh no, really? No, no, it's fine. I'm just gonna ignore it though. <laughs> can you can you rake it off? Can I don't know, I think it, it went like over, we'll just, here, we'll sequester that part. You think it was there? Yeah, <laughs> like I saw it. <laughs> Because I was focusing on this Pine. really well. Pine. I wasn't even looking this direction. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know well, how that happened. You've got an omni Pine. omnidirectional I'm mouth. I'm talking like Popeye. It's going to go from this uh, side. You know what, that, that makes me think of something else that I... Whenever I'm eating something or talking with somebody and they spit and it either lands on my food, or I've had I've had people talking to me and like I felt like it's hit me in the face mm -hmm. at like a party. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I want to know what your first reactions are. Well, I'll and I'll you, tell you my first I'll, I'll tell you the worst one that ever happened to me is someone was spotting me at the gym. Mm -hmm. What? I was benching. And no. they said something, and a piece of spittle went into my mouth. <laughs> oh, no! Seriously? Like, as you were on the way down, and it just hit you. I didn't say a damn thing. Yep. Your mouth was open? <laughs> you were like, <laughs> no, no, did you no, choke on it? It was just like. It like I think it like landed on my lip and I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh God. it was a it was it was like microscopic. It wasn't like it didn't have like it didn't like catch air. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just like a teeny little piece that hit the light perfectly and then I felt a little ding ding on your lip, not in the back of your throat. No, I didn't go. It was like it hit my mouth, which yeah. is just super nasty. And so this just happened to you and you mm -hmm. called me out on it. Yeah. But if I were like if it weren't in the context of like. I don't know. I don't know what motivated you to call me I out. I was worried that someone could like these are nice cameras. They pick oh. up a lot, and so you I was, felt obligated. Yeah, to, to acknowledge it. it. Well, in the mm -hmm. context of uh, an internet show, I mean, if I was benching on an internet show, which I think we probably <laughs> have done before, and and somebody spit in my mouth, I would say something because it's comedy. Mm -hmm. But when you're just at the gym, you're like, what is the point of me pointing out what just happened? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, hey man, D to diffuse the just awkwardness. Went in my mouth. It actually, it, it, I, I can't decide I don't think they knew. if it creates or diffuses argument. Because what, I, what I've always done is not acknowledged it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was at breakfast with somebody, this was also years ago, and I mean, he just ripped a fart. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I regret that I didn't say anything. Did it go in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Audible or you smelled it? You heard it or smelled it? <laughs> yeah. I think the last time you bench pressed on the show, you were wearing a French maid outfit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I would point it out in that situation. Comedy. You I, but so you the consensus is you don't say anything because it ain't worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Can you pass? You just swallow it like a champ. We, had, we, had, we got our uh, our drinks this? of choice. So I've been eating on this. I like green what? tea. I like red beans. I, I'm a fan of this. What What is this? Uh, this is the green tea and red bean frappuccino from China. So it's a green tea base and then uh, red beans on top. I like those green tea, red bean sort of mm -hmm. like bland, but... Mm. A little bit bland in a good way. Yeah, because it just kind of lets the starch of the bean carry through. I, it's the same reason I like a, uh, a tamale. The tamale mm -hmm. has that bland corn taste around it. Mm -hmm. that, the, and then there's a flavor inside. The beans are really sweet though, aren't they? Mm -hmm. it's, oh, this is yeah, for sure sweet. Yeah, they're like candied in syrup. I Yeah, I, I really like the beans, but the green tea, I just haven't achieved uh, a and a taste of, of green tea. I You're just right. don't enjoy it. You're right. It will be an achievement when you finally do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I, I meant to say acquired. You know, I haven't. I'd like to acquire a taste for for teas, but 
I always opt for coffee. Now, what's your, this is, I'm told that you got your, they got your go-to, right? Speaking of green tea, this is a they green tea. They spelled your name pretty hard. They, they called me Raj. Thanks for picking up the Starbucks, Raj. <laughs> um, I, I am oh. a <laughs> green tea uh, latte with, ma a matcha green tea latte with almond milk. That's my go-to drink, that's what this is. Yeah, because you acquired the taste for green tea when you no, decided. No, I achieved the taste. When you, when you stopped drinking coffee, you started, you had to start liking green tea or did you already like it? Um, no, I, it was just it was a it was a pretty slow acquisition of the taste, in because it's very specific. I, and I definitely didn't like it. Uh, I don't. I don't love this. I didn't even reason. like green tea until probably five or six years ago. Well, go for it. Well, you don't love it. You keep you I, keep I going back to it. You know, I'll, I'll take it back one more time. No problem. But the reason I like uh, yeah a lot of places will do a tea latte. Jenna, we were talking about this the other day. Sometimes you get a tea latte. And they just do a tea bag, and it's just tea, mm. and then they put some milk in there, or they or put some foam. If you're gonna do a tea latte, you have to do the matcha like powder. You gotta mm -hmm. get you you gotta do something that makes it seem like it's a little bit thicker. Yeah, that's how they they do it in Japan too. It's like an actual ground powder that they mix right into it, so it gives it some body. Because it tastes so like weak if they just mm -hmm. use a regular old tea bag. Um, my go-to drink is a cold brew. With just a, just a touch of cream. It's beautiful. All right, Dan. Look at look at that dance. Wow. Look at it dance. Do you stir it? And then I just kind of stir. Actually, I've, I started liking the the nitro cold brew. That's like it gets that like fizzy, mm. fizzy stuff, and you don't add cream until it settles, and then I gotta add the cream. So this is my jam. I can't you, drink that, man. If I drink that, I'll turn into a fire hydrant. Um, out of your butthole. Yeah. Um, what's your go-to, Joshua? Mm, I uh, a vent, a venti iced red eye. Oh. Which because I used to just do a Trenta iced coffee because they recently we don't we got water. Thank you. This is Starbucks water is good. Okay, so what is this? So it's a venti iced red eye. So that means it's brewed coffee with two shots of espresso poured directly into it. So I used to get a Trenta iced coffee. Thank you. What um, time of the day are you willing to drink this? Uh, anytime before like nine p.m. I mean, I can. I'm like a. Are you impervious to caffeine? Well, it's gay. It doesn't help that I keep drinking venti red eyes because then right. the, the cycle. If I had one of those in. after 3 p.m., I would be up until 2 a.m. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a problem. I'd say I'm working on it, but I'm not. Um, yeah. No need Gracious, to. huh? Listen. Uh, so you're telling me that you could drink one of those at 9 p.m. and go to go to solid the gym, sleep. the gym. Okay. I drink, yeah, I like to drink a bunch of coffee like before the gym or before just, work. Just to amp it up. Just to amp it up, but then, you know, I kind of just end up. You're uh, drinking coffee like that, then doing squats? Yeah, Boy, yeah, yeah. I'd make a mess. I, I Somebody play, spitting in your mouth? I play loose and dangerously. I actually, speaking of spotters, I was at the gym once and it was very late at night, me and just one other dude, and he comes up to me and I have my headphones in and he just goes, hey bro, if you need a spot, let me know. And I go like, oh, I'm good, but thank you. Right. And then right. I have my headphones blasting, I'm doing dumbbell bench, and then I feel hot breath. Oh. And I kind of crane my neck up, and there's oh. this guy just going. He wanted to spot and, you, and man. he puts his hands on my elbows. elbows. What was he? he was, what, you don't know what he was saying? No, I, he just like gen, general, uh, like Joe Lo Truglio from uh, Is It I Love You, Man? Like right. that. Because hey, you, you got because you were like listening that. to Corn really, really loud. I do actually listen to Corn. Wait, have we talked about this? Or did you just? I just know that you listen to Corn. Yeah, man. me and me and Ben. Ben texted me a Spotify link to Corn's new album. I knew it, man. It's good yes. stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so that was you I couldn't hear him over the corn. Over he the corn, yeah. So he he snuck up and started spotting you. Yeah, like unconsensual. Spotting. I don't like, like the he came up and I don't me. like the elbow spots on the. I know that's how you're supposed no. to do it, the dumbbell, but it just don't touch my elbows, but man. What did you do? You just let him let him in? Yeah, well, I, I wasn't gonna stop my set, and so I kind of just finished my set in horror, kind of a little out of body, <laughs> and then, like I got up and I took my headphones off, and he was like, "That was great, bro. You had three more in you." And I was just like, thanks. And there was nothing I could do. I didn't I didn't know if I should be like, please don't do that again. Yeah. Please never do that to someone. But I got yeah. the sense that he's, he's just touching people all the time. Then. But said, then you yeah. turn back around and he was gone. <laughs> he was your guardian angel, man. He was that, your guardian spotter. I think so. Yeah, you yeah. got a guardian spotter angel. That's kind of beautiful. It helps when I'm uh, squatting after all that coffee. Have you ever right. seen him again? 
No. Yep. Yeah, he was definitely. But I an felt angel. him. But you felt him. I felt him. You felt Did he look brain. like Michael Landon? I don't know. That. Oh, uh, touch my an angel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a deep cut. <laughs> just, just open your mouth anywhere and he'll spit in it. <laughs> Promise? We're going to look back the year that was 2019, and we have each independently ranked our top 10, ten. moments. 